Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is 13.7. We've been working with tangent planes and, and normal vectors using gradients. Uh, here we're going to use gradients to find tangent lines to the intersections of surfaces. So in my picture here, I have a surface uh, F and G. The blue surface is F and the green surface is G. And where they meet, they intersect, it makes some curve C. Uh, now, one thing we can find, if we want to find like a tangent line to some point along the curve C, uh, we need a vector that's in that direction. And that vector should be orthogonal to both uh, the normal vectors of the surfaces. And conveniently, we've learned gradients to produce normal vectors for those surfaces. So if we take the gradient of F and the gradient of G and we cross them, our tangent vector should be parallel uh, to that cross product. So that's what we're going to do. Let's take a look at it in effect. So we want to find the parametric equations of the tangent line to the curve of intersection. We are going to use z equals 2x squared plus 2y squared for our first surface, and x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 18 for our second surface. We're going to find the tangent line at some point 114. So we need to make F and G. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move everything to one side. Uh, I could either go with F equals Z uh, minus 2X squared minus 2Y squared and G equals 18 minus the X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared. That would be in the typical Z minus F of X, Y format. <laughs> or in case, in this case, W uh minus that kind of thing uh the other option i can do since we don't have an orientation along that curve the tangent line doesn't really matter which way we point so we could use negative signs uh we could do one of each being positive or negative i'm gonna go ahead and use this version because it's got more positives so i just change the sign of everything in this change the sign of everything in this and we take the gradient, we had 4x, 4y, and negative 1 for f. And the gradient of g is 2x, 2y, and 2z. And when we cross it, evaluating at p naught. Uh, so let's just plug in p naught first. We'll get 4, 4, and negative 1, 2, 2, and 8. Uh, one second. Sorry about that. Uh, we take a cross product of these and we got four crossing four, four, negative one, and two, two, eight. We end up with 34, negative 34, zero. Uh, and we could, that's the, a tangent vector, but it's not a unit tangent vector. So we can normalize, find the normal norm of it or the magnitude of it and divide by it. Uh, so normalizing it, we find the magnitude, divide by the magnitude. And we get one over root two, negative one over root two, and zero. So now we've got a unit vector t. And if I want to make the parametric equations, we remember we got p naught plus uh, our tangent vector times t. <laughs> so let me write that here p naught plus tangent vector times t. And that gets us these right here. And that'll be it for 13.7. Uh, peace.